It's Yun Ten. You can say my name Yun Ten. Yun rhymes with moon. Ten like the number ten. Or you could call me your Buddhist nun friend or any other nicknames you like. But I thought today maybe we would do some reading together since it's hard to be together face to face right now. But uh, reading's fun. So um, one of the books that I really like is called An Operation of Cooperation because the words are so fun and so bouncy and things rhyme. And I think it's really great. Then if you get used to it, you can just push mute and read it yourself. So I hope you enjoy. Here we go. <laughs> In Operation of Cooperation by James McDonald. With birds flying by and the sun in the sky, it was such a beautiful day. The kid's fort was done, the rope had been hung, so Sammy and Thomas could play. Oh no, what was this? Things had gone quite amiss, because Sammy was left far behind. The rope sure was tall, Sammy thought she might fall yet Thomas seemed hardly to mind. Their mom hurried out when she saw Sammy pout and hoped to brighten her day. Things are certainly wrong when we can't get along. I hope this won't turn to a fray. How might it be? Sammy climbs up the tree in a way that she feels well-prepared. When Thomas climbed down and saw Sammy's frown, he said, it's not my fault that she's scared. Thomas, that's true, but you see that she's blue and you've always had fun as a team. I will tell you a tale of two islands that sail on a land that looks like a dream. In a place far away, no two people could play for they all lived on islands alone. These islands could fly and drift right on by, even though they were all made of stone. But then one fine day, two passed on their way, so close that the neighbors could speak. It was a girl and a boy with but a swing for a toy, whose lives had so far been bleak. Hello, the boy said, clearing clouds from his head. I've never met someone before. I'm also alone, said the girl with a groan. Until now, my days were a bore. It would be very neat to share land with your feet, but I'm sure that that won't happen today. Well, there's nothing to do in such a short time with you, since our islands will soon float away. As the day dragged on by, clouds moved in the sky, but the islands did not move at all. If I give you my hand, we could join up our land, and together we'd have such a ball. So the kids paced about, trying to figure it out, until one of them shouted, I know! We can take down a swing and give it a fling, then our islands will never let go. That plan sounds real good, but which one of us should take our swing down and throw it across? Well, surely you can, since I thought of the plan, and I've always been quite a good boss. That doesn't seem fair. If it hit a bad snare, then my swing would forever be gone. Well, I won't throw mine. It's my only fun time, so I guess we will soon just float on. And as sure as was said, their hearts filled with dread as their islands began drifting away. It was good to meet you and talk to you too. I hope that you drift back my way. It's been fun for me too to hang out with you. I'll miss you with all of my heart. Can't we figure this out without starting to shout and stop our islands from drifting apart? Let's give it a try, before this one chance goes by. I know we both want to be fair. Now one swing won't do, we have to use two, and hope that they'll lock in midair. 
So the kids climb their trees and both skin their knees, but they manage to untie their swings. I'm sure that you know, we each have to throw, so our swings will untangle their strings. Let's both first agree that we count down from three and throw them as best as we can. So they coiled their ropes and gathered their hopes like a team putting forth their best plan. The kids threw their best, but the wind would not rest, and their swings passed like ships in the night. We've got one more try before we must say goodbye, so let's do this just perfectly right. They reeled the swings in to try once again in hopes that this time they'd tie up. Working as fast as they could and just like they should, they decided to never give up. No matter the end, I'll find you again, wherever our islands might sail. By the stars in the sky, we can track where we fly, like breadcrumbs left as a trail. With ropes held so tight and all of their might, the kids threw forth their last chance. And wouldn't you know, it was such a good throw that the ropes twirled around like a dance. We did it, they yelled. The swings truly sailed. Then the kids pulled their ropes in with ease. Let's go really slow and hope the wind doesn't blow. To their luck, there wasn't a breeze. Before not too long, the kids were singing a song as their islands gracefully met. Because they worked as a crew and threw their swings true, they knew they would always be set. Imagine the fun, now our islands are one, and the kids let out a big cheer. Then they crafted a plan to join all of the land, a task they could both engineer. As time ticked away, and with each brand new day, their efforts were always combined. Together they shared, and so better they fared, solving problems as a mastermind. And that is the end of the land of pretend, but not of the message it sends. I hope you can see that this beautiful tree is meant to be shared by two friends. The kids sat a while like leaves in a pile, puzzled and filled with doubt. Then standing and pacing, the ideas came racing until finally they figured it out. They ran to their room with their feet going zoom and began to map out a new plan. Then once it was done by the near setting sun, down the stairs to their father, they ran. Our dearest old dad, you make us so glad. Could we please add on to our fort? It's stairs that we'll need, I'm sure you'll concede. For the rope, Sammy's just much too short. Their dad waited a while, then let out a smile and said, that's a very good plan. After dinner, we'll start, we'll all do our part and finish as fast as we can. And wouldn't you know, once the plan was a go, they all helped to get the work done. The kids had a blast, understanding at last that two heads are better than one. The end. So I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope someday you can read it to yourself and maybe even go on to read it to littler kids and make them happy as well. So remember to cooperate and I'm sending lots and lots of love. Bye.